Welcome to your pre-race mobility routine. Now, this is a very exciting day because your race is coming up and we need to calm the nerves, work on your breathing, and also just go through some mobility movements to make sure that your joints are still moving and they don't stiffen up because you've been tapering. So let's get started. You're gonna start sitting, sitting seated on the ground and go ahead and place one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest, and we're just gonna focus on belly breathing, really focusing on expanding our belly as you inhale and as you exhale, your belly comes in. So the hand on your chest should not feel any movement. Go ahead and inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Two more. Last one. Good, now go ahead and place your hands on the sides of your ribs. Now that we've expanded our belly, now we're really working on the diaphragm and expanding our ribs. So as you inhale, I want you to feel your hands expand or come out to the side as your ribs expand and your air fills, your lungs fill up with air. So here we go, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Inhale, exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. Last one. Perfect, all right. So we focused on our breathing. I want you to take that into these exercises, focusing on expanding your belly, expanding your ribs, and then expanding your back. So let's go into expanding our back. We're gonna go into a child's pose. If we can control our breathing, we can control our heart rate and our nervous system a little bit better. I know with pre-race, like you're nervous, you're anxious, you're excited. So let's just really focus on our breathing here. And none of these movements should be too intense. You shouldn't have any pain. You're just flowing through the motion, emphasizing your breathing. So in child's pose, you're gonna bend your knees, butt goes to your heels and arms come out. Now in this position, I want you to inhale and focus on expanding your back. Inhale. Last one. Good, now bring your arms to the right, deep inhale, and I want you to think about expanding your left lower back. You can put your hand on your low back if you need to. You should feel some movement in your hand. Last one. And to the left. So now we're expanding our right lower back. Last one. Perfect, all right. Come on up, we are going into thread the needle. So on all fours, we're just working on our thoracic rotation. So in that quadruped position, I want you to lift your right arm up and then I want you to thread it under your left arm as you rotate. And come up, breathe, and rotate, breathe. So you're breathing through your ribs, through your low back, through your belly. Two more. Last one. Good, and quick switch. So left arm comes up, rotate to the left, and come under the right arm as you breathe. Good. Really just focusing on your breath. If you're in a weird headspace during your run, maybe you just mentally are 
not being as positive as you should be, maybe you've hit a wall, I want you to turn your attention because if you're in it and your brain is telling you all these negative things, you're just like not feeling it at that mild point, then I want you to focus on your breath. We need to turn the attention. That's where mantras can come in. Focus on your breathing. Sing the song that you're listening to. Something where you can just totally switch what your brain is thinking of because I know with my brain it can go down a rabbit hole. If I'm in a bad uh, head space during like a certain mile point, you hit a wall. So we just have to really switch our attention, play a little bit of mind games, focus on your breathing, focus on your running form, focus on the the um, people in the on the side that are cheering you on, just changing up that headspace. So let's lay on the ground. Next exercise is more of a hip and low back. So laying on the ground like so, you're gonna cross your left leg over your right leg. I like to put my hands on my ribs and bring both legs to the right as you try to keep your ribs facing towards the ceiling. Deep inhale, so try to really inhale and expand the left ribs. Another inhale. And come back up. Again, come down. Inhale. This should be gentle, you shouldn't have any pain with this. Just focusing on expanding your belly, your back, and your ribs. Go ahead, we'll do one more. So say you hit a wall, you're like, all right, I'm gonna focus on my breathing. I want you to think about expanding your belly, expanding your ribs out to the side, and expanding your back while your shoulders aren't coming up and down. You know that like accessory muscle breathing. Go ahead and switch. So right leg comes across over left leg, and we're dropping the legs to the left. So when you do this, belly comes out as you inhale, back comes out as you inhale, ribs come out. That's called 360 breathing. You're using your diaphragm appropriately, and that can really help. I like to say, like, if you're wearing, you know, spandex, shorts, leggings, or, like, a belt, especially if that belt is, like, near your belly button, you're trying to push that belt out as you breathe, as you inhale. And that can give you some feedback. Good. Last one here. Two deep breaths. Perfect. All right. Go ahead and extend your legs out here. This ponytail is not in a good spot. All right, we're gonna bring our right knee into chest so you can hold under your knee or over your knee. And all I want you to do is just little circles. So my little circles are going clockwise right now. Very gentle, no pain. You're breathing. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your jaw and your neck. Good, go ahead and switch and now we're going counterclockwise. Perfect, all right, hold this position. Now your ankle is going clockwise. And switch. Last one. Good. And switch your legs. Left knee comes in. Little circles. I'll start with clockwise. When you do this, are you holding your tension in your shoulders or your neck? Or are 
are you breathing, expanding your belly? Sometimes it just takes like a deep sigh of relief to realize, oh, I was holding a lot of tension in my shoulders and my neck. And switch. Your arm should be relaxed when you're running. And if we're holding all this tension in our neck and our shoulders, it's, and our breathing's gonna be off, then our heart rate's gonna be higher, and our arm swing controls our legs, so not as ideal. Good, and just hold this position. Let's rotate your ankle. And switch. Perfect. All right, last exercise we're doing is happy baby. So what you're gonna do, you can do one leg. Basically, you're holding the inside of your foot and breathing, or you can do both legs where your knees come out and you're holding your feet. Do whichever one feels right. And I want you to rock left and right. is good if you have a tight pelvic floor, if you have tight hips, and come on down, rock your knees to the left, and the, or sorry, <laughs> I mixed up my right and left, to the right and the left. All right, coming back into happy baby, you can switch legs if you need to, rocking left and right. You're not pulling on your legs, not causing too much tension in your legs. This should be relaxing. Good, and then rock right and left. Right and left. Perfect, and then bridge on up and down, and we are all done. Awesome job between today and your race day. Just keep focusing on your mindset for your race. Imagine you running that race. Imagine what you're going to do when you hit a wall. Imagine you crossing that finish line. Imagine you taking that fuel, everything. Imagine it all. And then when you get to the race, it's going to feel like you've already done it before. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next.